Hi everyone, welcome to our channel, Life Joyfully Done. I'm Jen, and today we are going to make a fall themed Disney pin board. Are you ready to get into it? Let's go. So I jumped on Etsy and I uh, did a little search of different things that reminded me of fall and Disney. And of course, I had to include Chip and Dale. I also found this beautiful fall wreath. It's a cutting pattern for the Cricut, which is called the SVG. I found one of each and I purchased them and then uploaded them to my um, Cricut Design Space and then proceeded to cut them out um, with these various materials. Uh, I decided to use permanent adhesive vinyl and also for the backer I decided to use this felt that I had left over from another project um, just because I thought that this would be good for sticking the pins through and um, I'll be able to rearrange them because uh, it is felt so it's not going to show all the little holes that I poked into the fabric. I really love felt for pin boards. I also have this clear plastic. It's a really thin, um, I don't know what they really call it, but I just call it thin plastic. I picked a bunch of this up from a JCPenney's locally that was closing and this is um, part of one of the sign holders that they use. I also pulled off some um, cardboard box pieces and I'm going to use this to put on the back of the pin board once it's finished so that I can then um, use a command strip to attach it to the wall for display. This is going to be a very lightweight pin board so I'm not worried about you know putting some kind of hook on here or something like that. I think the command strips will do just fine. I also have some fabric glue to help me attach these two things together. Um, I would have preferred to use iron-on vinyl for this project, but I did not have any. So we're going to play around with the permanent vinyl and see how it goes. So let's get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this plastic and I'm going to set it down and put the base of the chipmunks right here on to the plastic. Uh, I'm doing this instead of attaching it directly to the felt because I want to be able to um, offset them on here. So it looks like they're kind of sitting along the edge of the circle rather than right on top of it. This will also maximize the space I have to put pins on the pin board. Something else you could do if you do not have this plastic is you could um, cut out just a really thick cardstock to put this on. I did not have any really thick cardstock so I decided to go ahead and use the plastic. I forgot one other thing I need the transfer tape for this permanent vinyl because I'm not going to peel and try and stick it and eyeball it because I'm no good at that. <laughs> so I've got the contact paper here and I'm going to go ahead and cut um, a size for each of the items that are going to be layered. The next thing I have to do is go ahead and peel the backer from each piece of the contact paper one at a time and adhere the permanent vinyl to the back side, the sticky side to the contact paper. So let me just show you what that looks like. I am going to go ahead and start with the base, which is just the black um, shadow of Chip and Dale. This is actually my first project with permanent vinyl, so I'm hoping it turns out well. I guess we'll find out together. <laughs> All right. 
right. Not bad. A few little air bubbles under there, but that does not bother me one bit. All right, I think I'm gonna do this layer next. Um, just get rid of this acorn part here. And go ahead and get chip on there. makes me nervous. Uh, I'm a bit of a perfectionist and uh, like I said this is my first time doing a project like this so it is gonna drive me crazy if I don't get it just right. Mm, wish me luck. <sighs> okay before I press it down really hard I gotta look. Not terrible. I think I'm happy with it, so let's just do it. Ugh. You've got to go slow and just, um, make sure that each item stays where it's supposed to because this contact paper is quite sticky and I would hate to peel up one of the pieces. Like I'm really nervous about these ears coming up as I try to remove the contact paper. Let's see what happens. Oh yay! They're staying! Hooray! Okay. So there we have that so far. There we go. On to the next layer. I think we'll do Dale next. And he's sitting here having a little snooze next to Chip. All right. Just wanna thank you all for coming back and watching our videos. It has been such a blessing that so many of you have subscribed and keep coming back to watch us. Um, we're having a lot of fun with this. Today, Alyssa is um, at the barn helping out and Alex is uh, doing some schoolwork. So you have just me, but that's okay. I'm cool, right guys? I don't know if I'm ever gonna do a project like this again because this is this is murder as far as my nerves guys oh my gosh yes I feel like that's way yep it's way off it's way off please don't stick please don't stick please don't stick please don't stick don't stick don't stick oh gosh. I might actually have to cut this into two different pieces so I can make sure it goes where it's supposed to go I think I might separate these two. When I was weeding the excess vinyl from this, I was having a hard time. I'm like, what the heck? What? Why do I have this extra piece here and what is going on? I forgot that his eyes were closed in um, this file and that he was taking a snooze. Now, originally on the file, these pieces I'm putting on right now were pink, and I opted to do this color instead. Um, I'm kind of wishing I would have done the mouth portion in pink because I'm guessing that's supposed to be his tongue. 
but it's down now, so it is what it is. I may go over it with um, and cut out a pink portion, but we'll just see what I think as we go. What do you think, everybody? I think it looks pretty nice, and we can go ahead and move on to the next part and I just want to mention a little trick that I noticed while I was working on this is if you kind of just tear the back of the contact paper a little bit it'll help you get your finger underneath to go ahead and then uh, separate it from the backer saves a little bit of time which we can all use it's a little extra time So now this is where that leaf portion goes and I'm hoping that I've got this right. I really should have checked to see which way this goes before I um, separated them because I'm not sure if it goes this way or if it goes this way. This looks like it's probably closer to right. Okay guys, I have double checked and triple checked with my uh, design space um, file and it looks like this is the way it's supposed to go. Uh, and I've decided to do the yellow one after this um, so that I can kind of gauge it and line it up. I, th I think there was an issue uh, when this cut as far as um, this, this black piece up here. So I think I'll end up trimming it by hand just so that the outline of the leaves is um, uniform because it will drive me nuts either if I don't do that. <laughs> and let's see how this permanent vinyl stays on um, felt. Might need a little help staying down so we'll give it that. And I'm just going to go slow because I do not want to rip it up. So as you can see, you might have to just um, give it a little help coming off of the transfer tape and um, after we get it all off, we'll push down on the felt some more to hopefully get it to stay nice and permanently. Again, go slow. All right. There we go. We have some of our leaves on here now. Taking shape, guys. What do you think? All right. Um, so before I stick on this last piece here, I'm going to go ahead and see how this is lining up because you see that's where those are going to sit inside of. So it will make it easier to line them up once I have this in its correct position. All right, oh, that's so much better. I was worried, guys. I was worried this will not would not line up properly, but it looks like it is. All right, I think that's pretty good. So let's get our little yellow pieces here and get them lined up. And I'm gonna just press them in there while the red is still there 
um, because I can just peel that out afterwards. All right, so let's go ahead and remove this gently. Oh no, I don't. Oh my gosh. So I don't know if you guys could tell what was happening there, but um, the felt was starting to rip as I was pulling it away. So lesson learned there. <laughs> oh my gosh. that will be just fine. So I'm gonna start adding some fabric um, glue to the back of the red here and to secure it to the black. I will use a little here to repair that section. I'm pretty generous with this just um, because I uh, want to be sure that it stays. Now, I'm just remembering a lesson that I learned with the previous um, board I made, which was a Halloween pin board. If you have not watched that video, I will link it above as well as down in the description for you to check out. Um, a lesson that I had learned that I forgot for this project already is not to put the glue all over the place because when you go to put pins in it, it makes it a little bit difficult. So what I should have done is just done a ring of glue on the very edge where I'm probably not going to have any pins so that then this portion is not difficult to stick the pins through. But that's okay. <laughs> we'll do it on this side. to adhere them to this I think I'm gonna use a hot glue gun and guys I got a new one so I don't like I said if you haven't watched that previous video um, of the Halloween pin board go check it out I had the worst hot glue gun in the world and I finally broke down and bought myself a new one that does not drip hot glue all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and place this here. I put the hot glue on the back and we are just going to eyeball this and secure them. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry a little bit um, before I move it. But the last step I'm going to take is to secure um, some of this cardboard to the back of this again so that I can hang it with some command strips without um, having to secure a hook or anything of that nature. It'll also make it a little more sturdy because this felt is, you know, like I mentioned, just the flimsy felt. It's not the super, um, what's it called, stiff felt that you can buy. So it's a little more cost effective for this project and I think it's gonna work out just fine. I'm also gonna um, take a moment and trim that a little closer because I think I'll like that better. But everything else I think turned out very nicely and I cannot wait to add some pins to this. Hard to get it all in frame, but look how cute Chip and Dale turned out. And then also the leaves. And also the leaves and the acorns. Very cute. All right, everyone. I think it's turned out super cute, and I'm going to love having this in our background for the whole month of November. If you enjoyed this video of the fall DIY pin board, please give it a big thumbs up. If 
you would like to see more Disney content from us, including our upcoming trip to Walt Disney World, where I'm going to share along with my family, all the Disney merch that is down there as far as Christmas time, as well as Christmas decorations, Christmas snacks, everything Disney and Christmas, please hit that subscribe button as well as the bell icon so you are alerted every time we post more joyful content. Again, thanks for watching. Bye.